A question about imagination, because I'm also struck by the number of people who say that imagination in various ways is, is a increasingly important, um, being able to imagine you know, different futures, if you like. It's 2040. Um, and to our mutual surprise, um, we've made, um, the world has made um, startlingly um, rapid progress in reducing emissions and reducing climate risk. And looking back to the early 2020s, we remark on um, the two or three key interventions or, or actions that uh, really did make a difference. Um, what were they in your view? Because of, in some sense, what I know, my imagination oscillates between imagining and realizing a drastic future that I don't talk about very much yeah. and imagining the sorts of future and living in that future where dramatic responses have occurred. Mm. But that future will be hotter than two degrees and there will be mm. dramatic mm. increases in heat waves and bushfires compared with even the 2020s because mm two degrees of global warming or more is double. Mm. And it's not linear, it gets non-linear and significantly yeah. worse. So those are the two scenarios, even in 2040, 2050, mm. it is dramatically worse climate change. Mm. What I see as the, in some sense, the actions in the 2020s and particularly the early 2020s, I mean, the election in the United States is mm. critically important, mm. but it will require within the United States, the Republican Party to disown the Donald Trump media, the Donald Trump views, and the Donald Trump minority activist groups. Mm who wanted to and seek to support and encourage misinformation on everything. I think that the COVID-19 responses have demonstrated that mm. science can be used to guide community and government action with better solutions. And I think that the school strike for climate and the active engagement of people below voting age will continue to be dramatically important in motivating not only broader action, but motivating their parents for stronger action mm. as well. Mm. So some of that is international, what's happening and what I expect when I look back, will have happened in the United States. Maybe that's partly hope as well as not wishful thinking. Um, some of that is what I think is critically important for younger people to continue to get involved. I think there's also some technological solutions around green power and electric mm. vehicles as well as the removal of subsidies for fossil fuel industries, mm. 